Hey folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Victoria 3 as Belgium. This time, we invade the Zulus. Theoretically is the idea. Um, conquer state. So, we're gonna confirm. Let that tick in. Mobilize all of our armies. The Navy doesn't have to be mobilized. Then what we're gonna do is plan a naval invasion. Oh, I guess I can't plan it until we're at war. Um... Would it be beneficial for us to move our troops? Because I think I can do that, right? I can tell you. Oh, we already start stationed the Jair. Perfect. Well, maybe what I'll do with the Navy is I guess I can deploy you to the sea node for now and you'll be nearby. But then perhaps the second military, I can station an HQ. And we're going to go there as well. Rifling was successful. Nice. So migration attraction, that is going to have some value until we leave the um, the British sphere of influence. Although once we do that, we could start our own customs union and then maybe it'll be valuable again. Or progress towards repeaters. I'm a sucker for the things that give me tech and it still gives me a lot of the other benefits, but a little bit less so. That's okay. Now. I mean, it might be possible to sway Great Britain, but I'm not interested in it. In terms of war goal, there are no other war goals to add in. Oh, now there is. Um, oh, because Transvaal is joining in. That would be a lot of infamy. Still keeps us below a certain critical point. Let's do it. I did go over, I miscounted slightly. But, I mean, there's no, well, I mean, Portugal is a big one, could have joined in. And overall, we don't want to overload ourselves with anything over here. Partisan papers, momentum for the Liberal Party, which is our intelligentsia. They're already fairly influential. I think I'm still bolstering them. Um, I wonder about the paper mills throughput. I think it's one of the things where the uh, cost is frequently fairly high. That might actually be good for our um, economy here. Yeah, you're in government. You are being bolstered. I was going to say, does it show a bolstering symbol? It does not. Is there any chance I want more authority? No, I'm going to keep bolstering the intelligence, yeah. And we, yeah, we had been doing the industrialists for some while, but it's it's been ages since then. Okay, the war is about to break out. So, naval invasion, boom, boom, confirm, 100% efficiency. And then once we have a front, I'll move the other army in there as well. So they're going to have more troops and we will have a malice from the naval landing, but we're hoping that we have just stronger modifiers overall. I suppose I haven't checked. We're not have, okay, no, we are running the latest and greatest there. Civilizing mission unlocked. Let's go and immediately increase this. So we colonize faster. So malaria prevention, 14 years. Because it's tier four tech. There's part of me is still wondering if it might be worth being the first to rush this, despite the current incredible cost. Do the school. That is kind of useful for some discounts, but things are auto spreading to us. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize we could pick up triage. Let's work towards that real quick. Okay. Come on, naval invasion. You can do it. Uh, I didn't realize that. I was like, why is it going so slow? I mean, it does take a while to land, but. Okay. Oh no, we're gonna get pushed back. Let's 
So, does the armor retreat? Are they going to try again? Why are they still here? Navally invading, 0% progress. Oh, they are going to keep trying, but they're going to get pushed back some more. Hmm. At what point do we tell them, like, chill out? Yeah, none of this is going to work. Turn here for a sec. Now, if I try with the bigger one, you can't navally invade, right? Because there's no fleet that can fit you? Or wait. Oh, it will go, but it'll have a huge efficiency penalty. Well, that's not what we want. We are at 10. What we can go and throw some extra troops into the naval invasion. Um. How do I. Ah, transfer. There it is. Let's feed some artillery into you. Okay, your manpower's got to reload before we go again. Yeah, I actually didn't necessarily want it to do the repeat. Yeah, reload your manpower. And then we'll send you in again. With 10 total divisions, including artillery this time. We'll see how that works. Um, meanwhile, perhaps with the Navy here. Bring it up to 20. Give us more options later. It won't be probably relevant in time for this war, but we'll give that a try anyway. Okay, Army, how you doing? Still waiting for this to refill. I suppose I could have just pulled more people out of this or split this army up and done something that way. Oh, I thought Engineer might help with the naval landing. Any chance this is a flat terrain? It is not. How long does it take for those troops to move? Did I did I not complete it? No, they're definitely gone from here. They're just what in limbo right now. Well, I guess I can see the three here. Wait, are you? Oh, what? Oh, yeah, there you are. That was weird. Okay, uh, full manpower. Let's try this again. We do have our triage. Think... Uh, you know what? I'd like dynamite. Hopefully this time. Or is it? Is it happening? There we go. There we go. This time we got it. More troops and the artillery is probably very helpful. Boom. So... Oh, do we still have to win multiple battles to actually get the uh, the toehold? Does it have to? Oh, does it have to win the entire um, province here? It may. It may. We may need to win enough to get it to go stripey. Okay. I was thinking, imagining it in my head a little bit like the start of the colonization where you get a tiny little bit, but no, of course, this is a regular battle thing, so we need to win enough battles to take everything. Um, throwing some cab in here would help out. Is this battle ever going to end? Maybe? Maybe? I have 40 guys. 40 guys who are never dying. There we go. Um. Yeah, white piece? No. 
Could, there's 14 guns. There we go. There we go. Okay. Is the gun stripey yet? No, not yet. Go, go, land in progress. Okay, and another. There we are. Okay. So, I mean, we should probably keep pushing against Transvaal as is, if need be. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in my extra troops in here, but we're no longer doing a naval invasion. Oh, hang on. Do you need to? You're at the front. Oh, and getting your butt kicked. Uh, we really need the other army to arrive. There we go. front I know we've got an a capitulation here but there we go what the hell why would you why would you do that hold this covering Guyana yeah we're gonna do this we're already no longer infamous look at that so much of it is burned off already which is great and then yeah we want to take orange and then I am wondering yeah we'll get the dynamite but I am wondering about going towards the malaria prevention because these are, aren't, uh, this isn't someone we can war with. I mean, they might not have as much high value stuff. Well, nope, more iron mines and gold fields and coal mines. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna wanna colonize that. Um, they have a revolt. Is this gonna be annoying? We might have to wait for the revolt to end. Oh! Stop. What? What is this? In order to best leverage our rule over African holdings, a colonial administration may be established over a given region of the continent. Colonial administrations will expand into neighboring decentralized nations on their own and may be given jurisdiction over other regional holdings. Scrabble of Africa, so it is called, is underway in earnest. Every power worth a hoot is seeking slices of the great continent as more jewels in their crown. Rich and un Yeah, okay. But what does this actually do? Veritable breadbasket in Africa, areas host hosted great kingdoms. Okay, if we have at least two Belgian states in the region of Niger, and only establish new colonial administration every three months, triggers the event the nature of administration. When established, a local colonial administration will be able to tailor its laws and government to best suit the needs of its metropole and its constituent interest groups. Any Belgian lands within the relevant strategic region will be transferred to a new colonial subject. Okay, so this is going to make me a vassal. If a state has the greener grass campaign decree, a random state with that decree will be designated as the capital. Is this something we want to do? We'll have less direct control. Once, um, once we leave the grid, the British uh, Customs Union, they will automatically become their Customs Union. We'll get that. I don't know if we'll be able to produce for it. I think I'm going to wait for now. And... Oh, there is a front... What is going on here? Why do they keep getting booped from the fronts in ways that I don't like? There we go. Conquer that. Annoyingly, this has still happened. Because of their civil war. We don't have a truce with you, though. Reputation. If I were to do this... Okay, we would be... Fine? Okay, we would just be just over into Infamous, but barely so. It's actually slightly more there. I can just wait a couple of ticks. I have tons of influence, but I want to leave it here for the Infamy Decay boost right now, I think. And yeah, I'm going to have to do a Google for do I want to go and create that or not. Transportation to shortage in Togo. Well, let's alt click you a port, first of all. Oh, that doesn't give you transportation, it just gives you infrastructure. Still, I'm gonna want you to have a port. Tell you what, I'll queue up, I'll click a railroad and then a port, so the port will be first. 
Oh, we're basically out of the construction queue anyway. Okay. So, I'm going to start a new war. Oh, this is more now. Wasn't it? I thought we should be okay. That'll still be under 25. Oh, silk shortage. Well, let's get a bunch of French silk. Now, I know, like, 25 is not the, like, super danger zone, but I'm still trying to keep it a little low. Um... Oh, you're not mobilized. Couple fronts, that's fine. One of them will probably be undefended. And our ships, are they back home? Because they don't really need to be out here. You're at Natal Coast. Um, I'm just going to station you in HQ. I'll leave you here, that's fine. I don't think we need you at sea. You just stay parked. So finish the second war against Transvaal here, which is going to be fine. And then I think the plan might be to lead the Customs Union, which I mean, we're going to want to reset our trade routes in a second anyway. This. Okay. Netherlands stuff that we don't care about. I did not split against two different for fronts here. Oh, you got stationed. Why did you get bounced back? One of you. Oh, because it's not reachable. That's why. Okay, fair. Well, then just join this one. That's going to be okay. We can't actually reach this front because it's isolated. All right, dynamite is done. Uh, maybe I should grab and produce fertilizer first. I'm really thinking about doing this push directly to malaria prevention. Oh, right, well, we'll just quickly finish organized sports. It, are things happening? Oh, you have no general. I kind of want people who keep being good at just attacking, which... You know what? A reckless advance is fine. Right, and you were still traveling and you didn't have a general. That's why nothing much was happening. Now we got a battle. Now we got some push. That might open up the reach of the second front, but it's not actually going to matter at this point. Just walk over all that, have everything. Does that finish organized sports? It brings us down to 11 years. Do I want to quickly do another one? And some of this is going to auto-spread to us. I mean, this is a tier 2 tech. Take a year to do. Okay, let's quickly do the labor movement. Especially if we might end up with some savings. I grab Thar's hammer. Never seen such savings. Yeah, see, we get this partial thing. And I thought that might have been our toehold for the naval invasion as well. But it makes sense that it's not, of course. I think these guys are probably going home. I don't think they've moved. Yep, they're going back to an HQ. They haven't moved to the other port. Oh, but we don't have to worry about this area. It's all done. Okay, yeah, you can go home. That's going to be fine. That'll finish that war. And I think what I'd like to do is leave the customs union and see what happens. Agrarian party momentum. You know what? The industrialists can take a little bit of a hit. It's going to be fine. And not give quite as much raw momentum to the agrarians and the Timbuktuazi. Who certainly don't need it more themselves either. None of convoys. Okay. Demand's done. Oh, they're getting a little revolt. It's fine. We're going to go after Orange soon. industry. Oh, right. This is munitions plants and things like that. Okay. We shall see. I think we need some more ports and things. We can build a bunch of that. We have nothing really much in the queue over here. Um, there was a construction industry already queued in Transvaal. You know what? We'll let that finish. That's okay. And then, yeah, I'm thinking with ports... Ports do add infrastructure. And convoys. We at least want to build one right away in Flanders. Wouldn't surprise me if we ended up pumping out some more. That's going to be all right. Okay, 
I know it's a little shorter. I'm going to put a cut in here because what I want to do is I want to Google um, the Colonial Administration and see if that's something desirable or not. If it's going to limit our ability to maybe personally declare war against things or not, or micromanage the territory or not, then I might want to say no to this, even though I love pushing buttons. So my first instinct is, yes, of course I want to push a button. Colonies, we... Oh, we can do Zooland. And actually, the Northern Cape has no malaria whatsoever. Oh, my. And actually, we can change our interest because now we've got a permanent foothold over here. And actually, we've got a cap of five. We're going to put in a little bit of interest in this area. Although, I think malaria is an issue. So, most likely, there's not going to be anything that comes up. We could also consider, depending on uh, what parts of India may or may not be independent, we could consider some, like, warfare in this area. But maybe we'll we'll tag Ethiopia first. I don't think colonization is a thing that's going to be there. But we're going to see what develops. Most of the coast has been taken, but now we've got a toehold down here. We can expand the colonization inland, especially if we do the thing. And that's what I'm thinking. After labor movement, I'm really wondering about just doing a direct push towards malaria prevention, even though it is going to be quite slow. We can get some more universities, and we're going to want that. But I think the first thing is, next episode... Ooh, Russia, they're busy over here. I think we leave the customs union with Great Britain. Rebalance our economy. Find out next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.